hello children how are you fine well so today i shall be taking off the chapter principles of inheritance and variation under this topic we shall be talking to you the codominance and multiple agonism so far we have seen either dominance or recessive character express or you have seen the incomplete dominance where a uh, intermediate character in the case of four o'clock plant or in case of snapdragon the color of flower which you have seen in the one generation instead of being red or white the flower represent the intermediate character that is pink representing by the alleles capital or smaller that was a case of incomplete dominance but today we shall be talking to you about another non mendelian principle that is codominance first let me explain what is codominance here either of the two factor or allelic gene dominant or recessive expressing themselves or instead of getting a mingling of intermediate character in f1 generation we see here a blending of character both the dominant and recessive express themselves side by side what we call it as codominance means neither the dominant allele is dominating over the recessive allele nor the recessive allele is being masked over the dominant allele their relationship is not in terms of dominant and recessive or in terms of an intermediate character they represent themselves side by side Best example I will cite here the coat color of short horn cattle breed. Here, the coat color of short horn cattle, dominant cattle, represented by capital R, which gives a red color coat, a red color. On the other hand, CW gives white color. White color. So the coat color of cattle either red or white. Whereas when this red and white coat color red. is crossed to coat color white when they are cross breeded say suppose you are taking two parents this is male parent this is female parent when they produce gamete so these are the parents or parental generation when they produce gamete the gametes are here cr here it is cw now if one hybrid when they interbreed with each other they produce cr cw This is the F1 allele. Neither it is red nor it is white. It gives a color called Rowan. That means what is Rowan here? Here the red and the white color remain side by side. That means both the color exist side by side. Neither behaving as dominant or recessive. 
nor giving the intermediate character as we have seen in incomplete dominance where we have seen a middle character blending character pink but it is not it is here both the red and the w that is white coat color are expressing side by side that is what we call the ruan ruan is that clear now when the f1 breed are self breeded f1 cr cw with another f1 breed cr cw that is one ruan when crossed with another ruan during gamete formation gamete it produces two type gamete cr and cw here also it produces two type of gamete suppose this is male this is female so two types of gamete cr cw let me put n circle here and circle here this is cr female gamete cw female gamete so two types of male gametes are produced when the f1 generations are cross breeding before cross breeding f1 hybrid produce two type of gamete male this f1 hybrid female produce two types of gamete that means two different types of sperm two different types of ovum now when they fertilize with each other they produce cr cr c refers to here coat color r is the allele then c cross breed with cw cw cr cw cr cw and this cw cw that means this is red is that clear cr cr this two cr cw neither red nor white nor a intermediate character it is the red and white remain side by side again row 1 row 1 and this is white so in f1 generation we have seen all the cattle so produced are of row 1 type means the coat color red and white remain side by side side by side but in f2 generation we have seen in a ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 the red row 1 and white are produced this is a very good example of coat dominance is that clear to you another example of coat dominance we shall take up now that is in case of human so let me run this word in case of human you have heard about the blood grouping so many times you most popularly you know that abo blood grouping but there are together 17 different types of blood grouping known to us but out of that the abo type of blood grouping is called as major blood group whereas so many other minor blood groupings are there one such minor blood grouping is amin type of blood grouping amin amin type of of blood group. Blood. 
what is it the fourth chromosome of human being it is nothing but autosome so we are having 23 pairs of chromosome out of that 22 are autosome and one pair is 22 pairs are autosome one pair is sex chromosome or x and y in female it is xx male it is x and y now the fourth chromosome which is nothing but autosome it is having Suppose this is the fourth chromosome. Fourth chromosome. Homologue pair. It is having a locus where we find the M N G response of the alleles, M and alleles responsible for producing a different type of glycoprotein in the RBC. It is this glycoprotein which produces either M type of antigen or N type of antigen when remain in isolated form. But when both the MN present they produce a new type of antigen called MN type of antigen. So let me show how. Suppose a parent, parent male or parent one, let me write parent one, parent two. Parent 2. Parent 1 is contributing an allele which is having so this we represent as LM. M allele. Parent 2 is giving another allele called MN. Okay? So parent 1 is contributing M allele whereas parent 2 is contributing N allele. Now, what will be the genotype and phenotype type of blood of the blood? When this parent M, when only M allele is there, so either the genotype can be L. If this is the case, parent 1 is donating M allele, parent 2 is donating N allele, then genotype is LM, LN. And the blood group is called MN. A main blood group. On the other hand, when parent one is donating M allele, parent two is donating M allele. The genotype is LM, LM, and the blood group or the phenotype is LM. LN, hence it is called M blood group. The genotype is if a parent 1 is donating M blood group, parent 2 is donating again M allele, both the parents are giving M allele, then the genotype is M, LM, LM, and the blood group is M blood group. On the other hand, if parent 1 is donating, N allele, parent 2 is also giving N allele, then the genotype is 
ln ln and in this case the blood group is n so on the basis of presence of both the alleles side by side or only one type of allele the blood group is either mn or n or n here in case of mn type the m is not dominant over m or n is not dominant over m both are expressing their phenotypic expression side by side that is an example of codominance is that very clear to you another best example of codominance what we see in case of the major type of blood group in human being what we call as abo blood group let us now discuss about abo blood group abo blood grouping of human being is due to the presence of a sugar polymer this is been formed by a gene i i gene present on i gene responsible for producing of three different types of sugar polymer based on its three different alleles what are the three different alleles one is i a another is i b and the other one is i so how in different permutation combination these three different alleles combine that decide the blood group is that clear to you now suppose parents one parent one parent two parent two genotype genotype of what of of spring of spring and blood group of phenotype blood group suppose that parent one is contributing parent one if we make column suppose parent one is contributing gene a gene a is having three allelic forms i a I B I capital A I capital B and I small i. These three alleles present. These three alleles are the different allelic form of gene I, which regulate the formation of sugar polymer on the plasma membrane of red blood cell. And it is by virtue of the contribution of these alleles, what type of Sugar polymer will form and protrude from the plasma membrane of RBC in the blood group. Now, as we know, we are diploid, so only two allele contributed by two different parents at a time will decide the progeny phenotype. So, let us see that parent one is suppose contributing allele A, A. parent two also contributing allele. So I A I A genotype of offspring is I A I A. So what is the blood group? A group. Blood group is A. Is that clear to you? If suppose parent one is contributing I A allele from parent two, I B allele is coming. So what will be the genotype of the offspring? I A, I B. Here the blood group will be 
AB. If suppose parent one is contributing B amyl, parent two is contributing A amyl. Same way, it is IB, IA. Again, here the blood grouping is AB. Is that clear to you? Suppose parent one is contributing. What is that? Parent one is contributing. Suppose, suppose parent one is contributing B again. Parent two is contributing B again. The zero type of offspring is IB. IB. And the blood group is B. If suppose parent one is contributing I A, parent two is contributing small I alleles, then the offspring is I A I and the blood group is A. Likewise. If parent one is contributing small i allele, parent two is contributing i b allele, then the resultant blood group is i small i and i b. The blood group is b. If suppose I shall. Make a little space here. I A I A. It was I A I. In the blood group was this. So I have made some space. This. Suppose parent one is contributing small i allele, parent two is contributing small i allele. Offspring is getting i i i i. Then the blood group is called O. That means the three alleles i a and i b they are producing sugar polymer. Which produce antigen, whereas small i doesn't produce any sugar polymer, so no antigen in the red blood cell. Hence, i i are not producing any antigen. The blood group is O blood group without any antigen. It is a universal donor. It can donate blood to any other. Group. Whereas i a From both the parent, so the blood group is A. Zero type is I A I. A and B from two to second parent, first parent A. So the zero type is A B. Here is a point, and here is another point. So in these two cases, when both allele I A and I B, that is A allele and B allele. Contributed by two different parents, the offspring genotype is AB. That means A neither dominant over B, B neither recessive over A. They represent side by side. Here the blood group is AB blood group. So AB blood group here representing the co-dominant. It can be explained in other way also. That is multiple allelism. Multiple allelism means when the expression of a phenotype is governed by more than two allele of the same gene. Here, 
the I gene which is responsible for deciding the blood grouping by producing sugar polymer, it is having three different alleles I capital A, I capital B and small i. But only two alleles at a time combine to form the blood. Why? Because we are a deployed human being, so one allele is being contributed by parent one, male or female. Second allele is being contributed by parent two, male or female. So only two allele come at a time. This two allele, if A and B, then they remain side by side without dominating each other or without being masked by the effect of other, hence represent a combined character, what you call as AB blood group, AB blood group, otherwise called as codominant. Why it is codominant? Because here neither the A is expression nor the B is expression. Both have jointly given their expression side by side. Is that clear to you? So today we have taken up the various types of examples of codominance including cattle, the coat color, including the very minor blood group of human being, ementide, and the major blood group called this is called as ABO blood group. ABO blood group. This is the major blood group. Earlier we talked about the minor blood group. So I hope you could get a very very clear concept about the co-dominance. Is that clear to you? Thank you.